Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we are going to see solved questions in introduction to DBMS. Let's step into question number one. The question is, which of the following is true about DBMS? And the options are, option A, DBMS is a collection of interrelated data. Option B, it is a set of programs to access those data. Option C, it is a software to create and manage databases and option D, all of the above. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. And the right answer for this question is option D, all of the above. Because a DBMS is a set of interrelated data and it is a set of programs to access those data. Basically, DBMS is a software to create and manage databases and hence option D is the right answer. We are now done with question number one. Let's now move on to question number two. The question is, which of the following statement is or are false? Options are, option A, both file system and database management system are preferred for storing and retrieving the data. Option B, File systems can handle redundancy well. Option C. Database systems are more responsive data retrieval system than file systems. And option D. Concurrent access may lead to inconsistency. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. In this question, we are required to find out the false statements. At first, we will focus on the first option. Both file system and database management system are preferred for storing and retrieving the data. This is true because both file system and DBMS are for storing and retrieving the data only. But the difference is file system is not efficient in terms of effective storing and retrieval of data. Whereas DBMS is efficient. But anyway, both file system and database systems are for storing and retrieving the data. So this is not the right answer. So A is not the right answer. Coming to B, file systems can handle redundancy well and this is false and this is one of the drawbacks that we have in file systems and that is why we are preferring DBMS. So option B is false. So we can confirm that one of the right answers here is file systems can handle redundancy well which is actually not true. Let's see is there any other correct answer. Database systems are more responsive data retrieval system than file systems and this is also true. And coming to option D, concurrent access may lead to inconsistency. This is also true. But concurrent access in databases are handled well. But anyway, in general, concurrent access may lead to inconsistency if it is not properly handled. So from this, we can confirm that the right answer is option B. That is, file systems can handle redundancy well, which is false. We are done with question number two. Let's now move on to question number three which is in a three tier architecture, which of the following tier deals with the business logic and business rules. And the options are given. Option A, presentation tier. Option B, application tier. Option C, data tier. And option D, none of the above. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. Let's analyze what's the question. In a three tier architecture, we are required to find the following tier that deals with the business logic and business rules. Presentation tier is the front end. So this is not dealing with the business logic and business rules. Its intention is to provide interface to the user to access the database. And application tier, yes, this is the tier that deals with the business logic and business rules. And coming to the data tier, we have databases here which does not deal with the business logic or business rules. And hence, option B is the right answer here. We are done with question number three. Let's now move on to question number four. The question is, hiding the complexity from the application programmers and users is referred to as dash. And the options are, option A, data encapsulation. Option B, data redundancy. Option C, data abstraction. And option D, data analytics. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. It's easy to answer this question that data abstraction is the right answer because data abstraction is the concept that hides the complexity from the application programmers and also from the users accessing the database systems. So we want simplicity. 
we don't want any complex details to be shown so we are hiding the complexity through data abstraction we are done with question number 4 let's now move on to question number 5 which is the overall design of the database is called as dash and the options are option a schema option b instance option c structure and option d model and we can confirm that the right answer for this question is option b schema because schema is referred to as the overall design of the database and we have three levels of schema the physical schema the logical schema and the sub schema we are done with question number five let's now move on to question number six the question is which of the following type of users are unsophisticated and who interact with the system by invoking one of the application programs that have been written previously and the options are option a naive users option b application programmers option c database administrators and option d system analyst i request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer i hope you are done and the right answer for this question is option a naive users because naive users are the unsophisticated users who interact with the database system by invoking the application programs that were written by the application programmers and also coming to the database administrators they have the overall control over the system and they are not unsophisticated users coming to the system analyst or database analyst he is also not an unsophisticated user so the unsophisticated here who invokes the application program is the naive users Tellers in the bank, even end users who access the database system through some web interfaces are referred as naive users. We are done with question number 6. Let's now move on to question number 7. And the question is, which of the following is or are incorrect about DBA, the database administrator? The options are, DBA is responsible for granting authorization for data access. Option B, DBA periodically back up the database. Option C, DBA defines the schema, storage structure, and the access method. And option D, none of the above. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. And the right answer here is option D, none of the above, because all these jobs mentioned here, option A, B, and C, all are the responsibilities of the database administrator, and hence option D is the correct answer here. So DBA, the database administrator, grants the authorization for data access periodically back up the database and he is the one who defines the schema storage structure and the access method i hope you are able to answer all these seven questions if not no worries when the course progresses we will be able to gain more knowledge about databases before we sign out let's see the homework question the question is if you are a database administrator list some major steps that you would take in setting up a database for a particular enterprise so i request you to take some time work on this homework question and post your answers in the comment section i know you are not going to just mention the option as the right answer here because here i have asked you to contemplate you as a database administrator and then you are required to identify some major steps that you would take in setting up a database for your organization or for a particular enterprise this is a generic question because I have not mentioned any particular organization or an enterprise here. So as a database administrator, what are all the things that you will do in order to set up a database for an enterprise? And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation. We are done with chapter number one as well. I'll see you in the next chapter and thank you for watching.